blessings to my fellow air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. It is Priestess Melissa. You're joining me on the Priestess Prophecies. We're going to tap into your weekly reading and see what Mama has to say for us using the Goddess Guidance Oracle card. All right. We'll see what message comes out as a main message for the air signs. And then for each individual sign, we will pull some cards, see what's going on with the light seeds too. And we're going to finish off with clarifiers from my new deck, which some of you may know this person, the Ghetto Nun. We're get, this is called the Tune In Tarot deck, all right? And so, or t Tune In deck, anyway. So it's got different cards here, like Ike and Tina. What's this one? Um, Gone with the Wind. Different things like that and different words on it that'll help us to clarify the messages that are coming through with the Light Seers Tarot for each one of our signs. Again, for the air signs of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Thank you so much always for your likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. They truly do help my channel to grow. It's absolutely free. And again, I truly appreciate you. So hopefully you've been able to see all of the other energies that have been coming through for the readings. A lot of energy I'm seeing is, you know, we really need to make a decision about what it is that we want, all right? So we can move forward with all of this and get what we really want out of this experience. Thank you to the angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides. We truly honor you and ask you, dear mama, goddess, to bring the messages through we most need for this week. Take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths and relax. Yes, let us calm our minds. Let us take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths. That always helps when we calm ourselves to get into that flow state so much better, right? Okay, to my air signs. I am an air sign, as many of you may know. I'm a Libra uh, for my sun sign, all right? So we are going to tap in and see what is going on for the sign of the air element. Ooh, that came out pretty quick. Green Tara, step, start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything yourself. So, okay, definitely you got a lot on your plate and I will agree uh, this does resonate with me too. And I'm trying to keep it all balanced. Just finished up with priestess training, got everything turned in for that. Just finished up with hypnotherapy, about to turn that in. Two certifications in, you know, like six months, basically. And uh, looking at going into doula training now. Got a lot of uh, ideas that I want to use hypnotherapy with during, you know, in different aspects of the process of that. So in any case, look for even more to come out with that. There's so much with fixing, you know, those messages that we're sending through our mind, through our body, you know, and into the universe, because we want to make sure that what we're bringing in is exactly what we want, but that means we're right inside first, our energy is right. So, Green Tara is trying to help us to calm our energies and get in more of that balanced state by saying, there are some things that you need to allow others to help you with. And I'm gonna say, this is probably absolutely going to apply to those things that you may not know as much about. And those people may be coming into, you know, your realm to be of service. Now, of course, this may involve some money, but hey, we're all out there to support one another, right? So see about again allowing other people to help you ask others including me to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself all right because you're not going to do anything but make yourself crazy and you need to be able to focus on your work is what i was hearing all right so this is going to help you to be able to do so all right green tara so she says when you feel resentment in your heart because you're carrying more than your share of the load, you are doing no favors for anyone, including yourself. So make sure everybody's pulling their weight to maybe another aspect of this card today. All right, it says you need to ask for help to ensure that you have private time 
for contemplation and rest, all right? Because you need to spend time in your thoughts, you know, in meditation, getting your ideas together, formulating your plans and things of that nature, all right? You also need time to rest, most importantly, so that you're fresh and that you can think properly, that you're more liable to think positively as well and stay in that frame of mind. One of the reasons why I am able to sit so peacefully is that I know how I know the secret of true productivity. It does not come with struggle or strife. Rather, it comes from a clear and focused mind that is unchallenged by indecisiveness. So you're clear about what it is that you want, what you're doing, and you're going to figure out how to get it done. And sometimes, again, that means making sure that you give some of that load to other people to help you with. There may be people that you don't even have to pay for some of this, but of course, you know, to make it fair, especially for people who really could use the money, offer that fair exchange. They are giving you their time and energy, and we all do deserve something for that. 555, five, five, I just saw. All right, time to make that change, right? So rather it comes from a clear and focused mind that's unchallenged by indecisiveness. You see, making decisions is the shortest route to triumphant passages. So make a choice, be decisive. Once you make up your mind, the rest follows quite naturally. I therefore urge you to sit quietly and follow the footsteps of your mind. Be open to your heart's meanderings. They will quietly lead you to make your most important decisions and the rest will fall in place. Yeah, so find a way to allow yourself that time that you need again to get into that med meditative state, to get into that creative space, right? So you can keep putting your work out there and having that forward movement on that and not get stuck with all the mundane things. Let other people help you, all right? Even things around the house, perhaps, <laughs> that people should be helping you with anyway all right so various meanings of this card says don't try to be a superwoman or a superman absolutely all right give your children chores absolutely i do that i have two children still living at home and they do the dishes and take out the trash you know those are the two main chores uh because well they're the ones that are here most of the time i still go outside of the house and work <laughs> ask your partner for help Accept, it, accept assistance as it's offered to you. So don't turn away somebody who's willing to help you. Allow them to, all right? And definitely just thank them and be grateful. Release guilt or the belief that it is weak to ask for help. Absolutely, it is not. Everybody needs help to get to where they need to go, all right? So don't think that you're any different. We all need people to support us with their money sometimes with their services to help us you know we all need each other be a team player so maybe even how you can offer your services that may be valuable to someone else as well you know there's always that pay it forward type of scenario um, that can always be very very helpful in just generating positive energy helping people to feel so much better. Again, you're putting those plans in place, I feel. We're gonna start a reading out for our Geminis here. Um, the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. So maybe, you know, you are figuring out a way of you know, being able to have happiness with everything that you want to come through because now you're not like, feeling so crazy yeah letting your friends help you you can put your plans in place now because now it feels like you're not doing it all by yourself maybe before with that three of swords it felt like you know you're always kind of having these disappointments basically because it was all these disappointments of things that didn't pan out because, again, maybe you needed to have your friends help you to balance it out, help you to figure some things out, or actually do something for you, or maybe they even know people that can help you, you know, type of thing, or have the type of service that you're looking for. All right, Gemini, let us see what is going on for you today with this delegating authority energy. So on the bottom of the deck, we have four pentacles in reverse. So we're not holding back, but maybe we do need to hold back on our resources at this time, 
or you know our own physical stores if you will Ooh, definitely not not holding back to this toxic energy what's going on here this is very interesting feels like somebody else is pulling the strings on this situation you should be you know be I feel like this is some toxic energy that's pulling you away where you should be pulling back, holding your energy back, what little bit you have, I feel, you know, to be able to focus on your work. Now, if this is just toxic energy that you're playing into, you know, like, uh, you know, drinking or partying too much or just focusing on things that don't help you to move towards your goals. These are things that Spirit's asking you to look at. Now, if this is a person which will clarify, then this is asking you to definitely put an end to that toxic behavior. We have four cups in reverse. You're over being unhappy and unsatisfied, all right? Maybe now you're willing to look at that cup that Spirit's willing to offer you. Knight of Swords in reverse, yeah, because... Um, Maybe you stayed in a situation that you knew really wasn't good for you or unhappy, you know, wasn't bringing you happiness or fulfillment, if you will. Yeah, Ten of Swords in reverse. You definitely don't want to find yourself in a toxic situation, but at the same time, perhaps either you are or that's what you're trying to work on clearing up. The High Priestess, you know, this is you using your intuition. Maybe before you weren't seeing what was going on or realizing, you know, the detriment of what was happening, but it was keeping you stuck, whether this be a person once again or yourself. This was keeping you from really being able to be honest with yourself to take that blindfold off, right? Because she's got her, the blindfold's not on there, but inside it's like so much confusion, feeling like you're stuck, but at the same time, really not being stuck. All right, you can get yourself down at any time. But what are you choosing to do? Charging forward, you know, giving yourself and your energy to things that really aren't serving you, even though you know better. All right, Gemini, let us see what is coming on today to clarify this energy for you of Green Tara. Devil energy for Gemini, please, at the center of all of this. And coming out, we've got my crazy life. Yeah, whatever this is, whatever you're doing at this time, you know, and this could be with your friends. Maybe it could be with the wrong kind of friends, you know. Um, just be careful, you know, the type of people that you're connecting with and not holding back. Maybe you're uh, going out and engaging yourself in some unscrupulous type of activities, Gemini. Do be aware of that. Quiet as a mouse, something you can't talk about, you know, maybe, um, yeah, these could be with that gun there, girl code, you know, it's like, I feel like this is an energy of something that maybe you did come from a background of, and maybe you're trying to learn how to get those energies out of your life, but at the same time, it's like, you're not really holding back from it either you know it's like I feel like you just want to be happy in your life this American history wow this is very interesting rehabilitated I feel like you've come from a lot of difficulty in your past for sure um your history it's like you've dealt with a lot of people taking advantage of you you know, trying to steal your happiness, trying to steal your joy. At the same time, it's like, I feel like because this is what, you know, your history, this is what you've known, her story, you know, his story, her story, who, it doesn't matter. We don't have to be subject to these things. You know, we don't have to f continue to follow in those generational patterns, if you will. Um, very interesting coming out with this green Tara energy. Maybe being careful about the type of people that you're allowing to help you in these situations. Knight of Swords in reverse in the past. Ooh, definitely some crazy energy here. Cry for help postpartum. Wow. So this is somebody perhaps that, you know, you were dealing with during a time in your life that really wasn't being there for you, wasn't being honest with you, you know, about some things that were happening in your relationship that pushed you over the edge is what I'm seeing with this Britney Spears card. This is somebody that, you know, 
really perhaps wasn't able to be honest with themselves or was dealing with somebody who wasn't being honest with them and it really just pushed them over the edge. With this Ten of Swords energy in reverse, yeah, Tupac is not about putting up with that uh, being stabbed in the back energy. He's going to deal with that. So Death Row, Dear Mama, Hail Mary, All Eyes on Me, Me Against the World. So yeah, it's like maybe you feel like everybody stabbed you in the back and it's me against the world type of energy. Maybe you don't feel like there's anybody that you can trust is what this is saying. Uh, because, you know, even the people that are close to you basically, you know, would still try to uh, sabotage you in some way is what I'm hearing with this. And so the high priestess in reverse, what is this telling us? Yep. You're definitely all about only dealing with somebody from a higher vibe, all right? This is divine masculine energy is what this is talking about. And if you've been dealing with somebody who basically, you know, has just been driving you crazy and you've never been able to have a good person to really depend on in your life, I feel like that this is what you're drawing in moving into the future. This type of person who is going to, you know, stand up for what's right, going to be in more of that, you know, kind of, um, because I also see Tupac as more of a uh, positive energy, if you will, too. He always sang about, um, yes, about <laughs> the negative aspects of things, but positive as well you know what i mean he and he tried to give hope and things of that nature and i feel like that's the type of person you want to deal with truthful people people that bring encouragement and hope not people who try to take you out you know type of energy and moving to that divine masculine energy with the high priestess using your intuition and seeking out those type of people that really are going to be there for you all right so maybe that's where this delegating energy is coming in for you today maybe again you feel like all the people around you are toxic and maybe aren't the type of people who want to see you do better is kind of what i'm seeing here today gemini hit the like button if you're resonating with this message you definitely don't need that if you're trying to do you know good things for yourself playfulness is the energy of this card and it says laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. All right, so definitely, you know, but it's hard to have laughter in this situation and, and be lighthearted, you know, if, if you're not dealing with people who are of that nature where you feel safe, you know? What else do we have coming out for Gemini? Because that's kind of confusing. I feel like a person may want you to just, you know, lighten up kind of thing is what I heard. All right, we've got an angel energy coming out today saying acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There are There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control, all right? So laugh it off, basically, is the energy that I see with this. You see this stuff coming in here bringing this healing, all right, to this situation. And that's what I feel is happening for you today, Gemini. Blessings to you for your week ahead. Thank you for hitting the like button. And do subscribe if you haven't already. And I do hope you have a wonderful week. We'll see you next time for whenever you stop by for a reading, your weekly reading, or check out any of the daily readings as well. And there are a few oracle messages up as well if you'd like to check those out as I am a psychic, an oracle reader. And so I am reading for the general public, so I can't give you a lot of specifics unless they specifically come through. You'll know if they apply for you. Libra, you are definitely seeing something today about what you need to perhaps hold your energy back from with that four of pentacles, all right? Start delegating, though, is what you're needing to look at. And perhaps the people that you're holding back from are the people that you're not sure about, that you worry about, <laughs> you know, and you trust them, perhaps, or something of that nature. Because maybe you do really want to, you know, trust in people to help you, all right? But I feel like... It's been hard for you to do so, and you're still doing a lot of healing at this time. 
while, you know, trying to get out of this energy of being worried, perhaps, about who you can trust around you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, bring Tara and start delegating. So let's see what's coming out for Libra today. Libra energy, please. I am a Libra myself. Ooh. So something maybe that just ended. You are having a death and rebirth process as we speak. This is what's crossing you. So what are you having this process with? Getting back on track, putting that work in for yourself. Um, you know, really getting your foundation in place because I feel like that has been thrown off to some degree. Your focus has been thrown off. And now you're getting into this rebirth phase after an ending of some sort. And it did have an effect on your money, your pentacles, or, you know, your ability perhaps to feel, you know, you, you needed to go within. It feels like in this foundational energy of the hermit, I really see where do I need to put the work in? You know, how can I, you know, start delegating as I need to? It's almost like having to start all over again because maybe you just had a clearing out of people of some sort. Queen of Swords energy coming out today, and this is all Libra energy here. So in this recent past energy, maybe you were sitting and thinking, getting off by yourself and really thinking about things that have been happening recently and how, kind of how you got yourself to this place and where you want to go from here, you know, because I feel this almost gives me a Hunger Games type of energy. I feel like, you know, you're a loner, alone wolf if you will especially seeing this energy here as well with the hermit you're definitely spending a lot of time by yourself right now and there are a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot coming in if not people opportunities ideas there is a lot coming in right now and you need to be able to take advantage of that all right so we need to put that work in to turn those ideas you know use that energy wisely Make sure that it's something that you love for sure that you're giving your energy to because I see King of Cups in reverse here. And the reason why we may not be able to put that work in effectively, you know, is because we're coming from this Five of Pentacles energy. What's good to see is that it is in reverse, which means we saw that key, all right, there in the corner. And we saw that we were able to get out of this situation before it caused any more damage for us. But now, we're having to focus on getting ourselves back on track and perhaps decide who we can work with and delegate our, you know, work to or whatever it is that we need to do to help us to get back on track again. And part of that may be figuring out what it is that's truly going to make you happy. You know, I see you in your head a lot here wanting to make sure that whatever you're putting your energy towards is going to be something that you really love. I see you, you know, really deciding what that is for you, Libra. All right, Eight of Pentacles in reverse for the middle energy here. Ooh, so anytime you <laughs> take your eyes off yourself, you don't put the work in for yourself, it always ends up turning into this nightmare on Elm Street situation where you're like, how did I end up in this nightmare again? How did I end up on the street again? You know, I'm starting to feel like 13 is an unlucky number, which we know it's not. It's just really about, you know, the type of people that we're surrounding ourselves with. This is saying bad dreams, razor sharp, subconscious fears, sleepless nights, child neglect, registered offender, hell bound, burned and scarred, in your head so this person you know that maybe you might like to work with it is causing you nothing but a nightmare and maybe you feel like this there's really nobody that you could work with that you feel like you know could help you with this situation quite honestly what's the hermit energy showing us but you need that help so you know hopefully those people will come in and they can come in if you imagine the right people coming in, not these type of people who maybe just want to take advantage of you, <laughs> right? Jaws energy, which makes you feel like you have to go this alone because you don't know who you can trust. Cold-blooded, yeah, sense of smell, excellent vision, apex predator, chum puppy, guppies, um, BHE, I'm not sure what that is. 
open water attack on the hunt. It feels like, you know, somebody sees you as prey. It's like you feel that people just see you as somebody that they can prey upon. And this is not the energy of feeling like you have people that you feel like you can trust. Queen of Swords in the past energy here. Show me the energy of Queen of Swords. And do we have, yes, definitely. All the people that you were connected with, it's almost like, you know, there was always something deceptive, you know, behind them. It's all, you always found yourself being that, again, lone wolf, figuring it, figuring it out yourself. I, and, you know, feels like maybe it's easier that way many times for you, especially because, it, again, the people that you don't want to work with these people. You don't want to work or, you know, you can't think of any people outside of these people that have these qualities that just basically make you feel like it's a nightmare working with them, right? And just, yeah, all the people that want to come at you, they want to act like they know what they're doing. They want to act like they have the right ideas and plans. Life lessons, childhood friends, tempers flare, uncertain vengeance. Ah, maybe you feel like there's a lot of people who want to, uh, you know, are throwing darts at you is what I was seeing with that Eight of Wands energy, trying to come at you, you know, maybe not happy um, about what's happening in your life and want to put an end to it with that death coming out here. But you are sitting here trying to rebirth yourself with this death and rebirth energy you're trying to work on yourself you know you're trying to bring yourself out of that lack mentality but it's like all the people around you it's like you just really don't know who you can trust king of cups oh yeah i feel like people see you as this person that they think that they can take advantage of just because you're kind right but you actually hold a lot of value and that's what they end up seeing in the end just like richard beer did right uh with old girl here i forget her name offhand but anyway you know this is breaking toxic behavior breaking those connections with those you know people that really don't show the right love that they should show to you that aren't balanced you know this is not the energy you want to be in moving forward thinking that you have to sell yourself or you know Basically, you're in a position right now where it's going to be very important for you to sell yourself in the right way and not allow other people to see you as in this, you know, lesser state just because maybe she doesn't have the money yet or she's not in the position yet. But she definitely had the right mentality, the right thoughts about herself. She never, you know, saw herself as uh, less than, if you will, right? Beautiful. Yeah, this is your opportunity to shine, Libra. Hit the like button if you're ready for some freedom in your life from all of this challenging energy, all of these nightmares that these people bring, perhaps. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So basically, Spirit is saying you can wake up from this nightmare. You can break free of all of these energies of these people trying to bring craziness to your life, trying to have control over you, nothing but a nightmare. In the end, you're going to be sitting pretty and laughing, all right? But you do have to at least, you know, be on, you know, have the right attitude, have the right mentality. All right, hit the like button, Libra, if you enjoyed that reading today or got any messages. And do subscribe. I'll see you soon for another reading. Have a beautiful week and bye for now. All right, let's get into a reading for Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius today. Something around the lovers. Did you just end something? Are you starting out on a new beginning here today? All right, start delegating green Tara. We got Knight of Wands energy here. Maybe somebody who's not doing their part, not putting, being committed and helping you or feeling like you have someone around you that will help you yep. <laughs> in the house, all right? You're constantly needing them to take out the trash or help you with the dishes or, you know, just play with the kids even for a little bit while you go in here and do what you need to do. All right, but who's not pulling their weight perhaps around the house? We need to 
resurrect, you know, we need to get out of this energy. We need somebody to, what is that? A uh, Calgon, take me away. That's the energy I got from this judgment energy. Yeah, you need somebody to do their part and help you to feel like you're really there for you. That's what I'm getting from this Aquarius. Let us cut the deck and see what Green Tara energy has to say for you today. Delegating authority. Ask others for help a lot coming at you today for sure and this is what's crossing you you just do not have enough time in the day enough limbs on your body you know to take care of everything that you need to but you definitely have a lot of energy is what i feel and people see you that way they feel like you literally can take care of anything that you know you don't say no to anything is is what i get from this energy as well um, Queen of Wands, they definitely see you as somebody who takes care of their business and somehow have time <clears throat> for other people too. You are very magnetic. You are absolutely moving in the right direction of wish fulfillment here today. You're feeling pretty good is what I feel in this energy regardless. But again, everybody needs some help to make sure they stay on track. You are no longer, you know, in a position of feeling unstable. You know, I feel like this is a person that is sure of where they're going and what they want to do. This is beautiful to see for you, Aquarius. Do hit the like button if this is you. In your mind, though, you are holding back. You are being cautious, I feel, <clears throat> about, you know, who to give your time and energy too because there, you may not have a lot of resources right now but i feel like you have a lot of good ideas and opportunities potentially that could be before you at this time Oof, choose wisely though could be somebody trying to come back from the past i was getting even too as you're starting to really get to this place where you're doing well and maybe you know, seeing that you're ready to take this leap of faith. You know, don't be scared. Don't allow that heartbreak or people from the past, those heartstrings to be pulled on, pull you away from things that you need to focus on, all right? This is your time to fly, your time to really feel that freedom within yourself. All right, loving yourself. I feel you're definitely going to be doing that. Those Three of Cups could be somebody else feeling a bit left out because they're not getting all of your attention <laughs> like they used to perhaps, right? And causing you to juggle your energy. You stopped doing that, it seems, here in the past, all right? But it could be making somebody unhappy about that. So let's get into the tune-in deck by the Ghetto Nun. All right, check her out on YouTube. She is an amazing reader. Shout out to you. Queen of Wands energy here in the center. What do we need to know about the Queen of Wands energy? What do we have? The Breakfast Club. Oh, interesting. So this is definitely that energy of, <clears throat> you know, it. they had a lot of different, you know, people. It was like a hodgepodge, right, of people that were in this detention hall. <clears throat> on a Saturday, you got everything from uh, athlete, criminal, princess, brain, so like somebody who is really smart, and what's a friend anyway? So during this process, you learn to figure out who your friends really are is what I see here. And it feels like you chose wisely in who you are trusting, you know, to connect with and to help you at this time. But I feel like you did have to figure out who that was because now you're on this precipice of doing some great things. What you're waiting for, right? That's one of uh, Gwen Stefani's songs. And it's time for you to move out and do some amazing things, things that make you your heart sing. And I feel that maybe somebody's not gonna be too happy about all of this, all right? Because you are magnetic right now. People see you as awesome, like you're just running the show, doing your thing. Erica Badu in the past, yeah. Bag lady, leaving the situations of the past behind you, learning your lessons. I'll deal with this next lifetime, Erica Badu says, all right? I am done. I am not confused any longer. Four of Pentacles. What are we holding back from? We are holding back from, ooh, some NWA energy. 
We're holding back from anybody who wants to bring the police, want to bring any of that drama, any of that situation, that Erica Badu energy again here with that Four of Pentacles. She's like, I'm not holding back, or I am holding back. I'm holding my bag and everything back from any of these thugs, all right? NWA talks about urban America, ruthless, tour, rap music, controversy, parental discretion, fuck the police, uh, express yourself, challenges, profanity, all right? This lady is holding back from anybody who wants to try to come at her the wrong way, basically. You are determined in your mind that you know exactly who you're dealing with, you know who your friends are, you are setting out on some big things, and you have to know exactly who you can trust in this situation. You're definitely figuring that out, Aquarius, is what I'm seeing today. Three of Swords for the future energy. Tupac, only God can judge me. Yeah, you can say what you want to, but you're not going to break my heart, is what I see here today. I've learned from my lessons. Yeah, it was painful, and I'm going to allow myself to be aware of them, is what I hear here today. Death Row, yeah, you might have, you know, tried to kill me, but nah, you can't. I'm not going to die, is what I hear with this energy. All eyes on me. Me against the world. You know, you're going to do whatever you got to do, is what I feel here today. And you're going to figure out, you know, who... Are those people you can't trust, you know, that only bring disappointment, Aquarius? And you're going to put that behind you is what I see. All right, let's get your Lover's Oracle card out today and see what's going on for you, Aquarius. Beautiful energies coming through here today. I see a lot of you stepping into your power and being sure about what you will and won't put up with. Next lifetime is what it sounds like for this partner. All right, let's see what's going on here. This card says only time will tell because there still may be some energies between the two of you mirroring, you know, this is something that you may still be thinking a lot about. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. 36, 36, we have got to be balanced in this, all right? This has got to be wish fulfillment for both of us. Otherwise, we moving on to what is our wish fulfillment is what I see here, Aquarius. Blessings to the air signs. Do hit the like button, subscribe. It is free and helps the channel. I truly appreciate you and I'll see you soon for another reading. Bye for now.